when the Prime Minister on Saturday afternoon said that we have got to expand the area of search, we, the military, went back and shut down, thinking of the area that needs to be expanded. And also, we were baffled by not getting any distress signal from this particular aircraft if it has gone missing. So we decided that we should now review if our air defense radar track this particular aircraft. When we look at their recording, it proves that there is a possibility that, that this aircraft make a turn back. But we are not sure whether it is the same aircraft, but it happens to be in the same area that, 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 that signal that comes up on the radar screen that makes a turn back. So we decided that immediately we collaborate with the radar of DCA in Kota Baru. And to a certain extent, we saw some blinks too. So it raised the possibility of getting higher for us. Now yet, we are not sure. But can I take the risk of if it's making a comeback, you know, the speed of the aircraft and so on, if it goes to the streets of Malacca, and if I do not respond by sending some of my assets that particular night, just in case, I have got to do something. I contacted my minister, sir, this is what I think is going to happen. I would like to deploy my asset, which is already in the West Coast, which has not yet been deployed to the East Coast. We sent some ships immediately from Lubut that particular night to the place that where we suspected the aircraft would be. And the next morning at first light, we sent a Charlie 130 immediately to scout the area to see any possibility. Now, it is a possibility and the slightest possibility I must respond for the sake of the passenger on MH370. So were you, uh, were you tracking this in real time, this unidentified object going across Malaysia? Were you tracking it in real time? And if you were, why did you not send that? No, we did not track it in real time. We saw a recording of it. We were not sure. We, and it just so happened that when we saw the recording of the no. data, then it appears to... So we have got to respond. <laughs> 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 Civilian authorities, entities for help. Why not release the raw radar data? Are there any plans to do that? We need to collaborate this with other radars, with our neighbors. But plans to release of course, raw radar of course. data? Yes, we, we plan to release it. But as long as I know that actions are being taken for the conduct of the search and rescue operations. Like I, the the next day, we immediately contacted our friends from Indonesia. Please, activate your SAR, which they came immediately. Uh, the send to at least intercept or find out what, what are these unidentified okay. objects. Thank you very much. Now, the point is that what, what we said from the beginning, when we review on the record, recorded track, there is a possibility of the aircraft may turn back. Right. All right. There's a possibility of the aircraft making a turn back. Until now, it remains as a possibility until being scrutinized by the experts, FAA, NTSB, and the radar manufacturer. All right. So until such time, then it is very difficult for us to say that is for sure that is the aircraft. I mean, to military radar. Military radar. Thank you. So uh, the uh, primary uh, radar plot on the primary radar. The last uh, known time was at 0215 local. 0215 local. Okay, this is uh, now from beginning uh, we say it is a possible, possible turn back. Why possible? Because we are trying to corroborate with all the other radars, including the civil radar. So at, at the moment, at the moment, we are still 
collaborating with uh, FAA, with NTSB, and all the other available radars. So uh, the opposition is uh, in uh, shape of like <laughs> You see, there's still a possibility that it is in the Straits of Malacca. We are still collaborating. Oh, we are still doing forensic. Possible. It's not that it has gone there. No, no. We are still doing forensic on the I, radar we have been very The last plot, after several intermittent primary plot, there's a last plot that happened at uh, 0215. Flight level 295, 200 miles northwest of Penang. Huh? Can you repeat that? <laughs> okay, we are collaborating this, okay? Okay. Collaborating this. 0215. I'm not saying this is a, a MH370, uh, okay? Uh, it is, uh, we are still collaborating this. We are still working with the experts. So what are, what, what are you saying it was? Yeah. Sorry? You don't know what it was. No. What? So what do you say on a two? It's a plot. It's a plot. Unidentified plot. Unidentified. Uh, two, two, nine, five. The, the, uh,